Hey guys, uh, today I've got this warm and wearable look for you. So we're going to start off with some oil-free moisturizer. That's what works best on my skin. I have oily combination, which is why Revlon Colorstay Foundation is awesome for me. This is 1110 Ivory. It's their lightest pink base shade. And this is the best drugstore version I've found that's closest to the um, Studio Fix from MAC. So I'm putting that all over my face and blending it down onto my neck and my ears, of course. And this has a very buildable coverage, so where I need extra, I'm pouncing my buffing brush. Then I'm going to set all that with a neutral translucent powder I'm using a Ben Nye one. Then I'm taking a soft brown eyeshadow, this one's from MAC, and my Sigma contour brush. And I'm going all around the per perimeter of the face and underneath of the cheekbones and the chin. Basically, I'm just trying to bring some life back to the skin and some warmth. Then I'm going to move on to a contour brush from Real Techniques and do my nose and brow ridge. You don't really want to use very much product there, just whatever's left over on the brush. Then take that all over both lids. Here I am deepening up my contour just a little bit using cork from MAC with my contour brush. And then I'm going to take Shadowy Lady, which is a brownish black, I mean brownish purple eyeshadow from MAC. And with a pencil brush, just put that around the outside of my eye and into my crease to smoke it out a little bit, add some definition. But I didn't want to use a black because I wanted it to be softer. Blending that out as much as possible. Then I'm going to highlight and I'm using Blanc Type from MAC as well. And then just throwing on some black mascara. This is Maybelline Grey Lash. Lip balm to prep the lips, and then I'm going to use this lip liner just really as kind of a stain. I don't want, I just wanted to rub it in really well, blot it off, rub it in, rub it in, just to add a little bit of color. Then I'm going to highlight, and I'm taking Max Shroom, which is nice and colorless. It just adds a sheen, and I'm going to do all the high points of my face, my cupid's bow the bottom of my lip as well. Then with my contour brush, I'm gonna do the, my cheekbones, my forehead, my chin. My nose. I decided that that left eye was not dark enough, so I went back in with Shadowy Lady, added some more, blended it out. Uh, I got some mascara on my bottom lid, so I waited for it to dry, and I'm just taking a Q-tip and flaking it off. Then with Sugar Pills Dolly Pop, just a very, very slight hint of it on my brush, I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones in between the highlight and the contour and blend it in. Then I'm taking cork again and deepening up the contour on my neck. Then I'm going to do my brows with this medium grayish brown. None of these have names. It's in my e.l.f. neutral palette. It's what I've been using to, for my brows in the last several videos. Then there's a dark, medium dark gra graphite light color gray and I put that right against the lash line just to add a little more definition up there and then blend it in with my pencil brush 
and then took shroom to highlight the lid as well and the inner corner. Went a little crazy with the shroom. And then I blend it all in again. And that's the look. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I had a crucial bout of insomnia and decided to film this. I have a pretty good before and after here coming up. You can see just how bad my skin really is. I have a lot of redness. And I'm smirking a little bit, which is why my face looks so uneven. And this is the after. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come check me out on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you soon.